Hello again and welcome to Crafts with Curio. After my last video when I did some acrylic fluid pouring, I decided to go a step further this time. I'm going to pour on um, a clock face. This is a dismantled clock I bought from a charity shop. I've given it a coat of black gesso just because I didn't want the pattern that was already there to come through the finished article. And I've sat it in a box lined with a bin liner and it sat on a Lazy Susan, which I'm hoping uh, it's not going to slide off. I have put a little bit of blue tack on it. Hopefully it's centered, so it should spin quite nicely. And the hole where the clock mechanism goes in, I've just filled with a little bit of kitchen roll. So once the pause finished, I should be able to take that out and it should stay clean. I've already prepared all my paints using the same process as I did last time. So it's 50% clear PVA glue, 50% paint and a drop of water to get to the right consistency. So I'm going to do a dirty pour into this cup. I've added a few drops of rain next to each of the colours, but not to the white. We're just going to see how this is going to turn out. Just adding some copper, some yellow, a bit of red. purple little touch of black don't want too much black in that some green No idea how much paint this is going to take to cover it, so I'm going to put quite a bit in. There should be enough there. So I'm going to simply get this spinning up to a decent speed and then I'm going to pull from the edge in I think.
that's definitely interesting. As this is blue tacked down, I can't really lift it up to um, to tilt it, and I'm not actually sure that I would want to. Might just try a little bit, just see if I can get a little bit of movement on it. But certainly, it's an interesting effect. No, because it's spun. I think that's about as much movement that we're going to get on that. look forward to seeing how this one dries out. Thank you for watching.